If you are already a viewer of my video channels, you are probably aware that I recently released a small series of videos about Black Pete. This is the final video in this series, and in this video I just wanted to share some final thoughts on this issue, and especially about the very worrisome state of the academic world in Western Europe. We all know that 1 plus 1 equals 2. Now imagine that you have a group of experts in the area of mathematics from some university in some Western European country, and you ask this group of experts what is 1 plus 1 and they all answer 7. In this case you immediately know that something weird is happening in this specific university. This is the case because everyone knows that there are right and wrong answers within the field of mathematics because mathematics is a hard science. Now people often think that in the soft sciences, fields of study that focus on culture, social issues etc, that there are no real hard factual answers but that instead things are more malleable. This however is an illusion because there are correct answers in these soft sciences. For example, is the country Spain based on the ancient religion of the Zulu people? No. How do we know? Well, because we know enough about the history of Spain that we can confidently reject the idea that it has anything to do with the Zulu people. Is the Eastern Bunny based on Japanese imperialism in Indonesia? No, because we know enough about the origin of the Eastern Bunny in order to exclude the idea that it has anything to do with Japanese imperialism. And this is also the case for the question, is Blackbeat based on the transatlantic slave trade and European colonialism? No, it's not, because it is based on something else. And we actually know what this is. We actually have the information we need about the historic origins of Blackbeat, and therefore we can easily identify and falsify those claims about this historical origin that are incorrect. Now what is the problem? The problem is that the academic world in the Netherlands, and in the western world in general, has completely crashed and spun out of control if it comes to the topic of black peat, which is indicative of a deeper problem. Here we have some academic article written by some Yvonne van der Peil from the University of Utrecht. Quote, black peat, smug intolerance and the value of the black body in post-colonial Netherlands. Well actually you can already tell just by the title that this article is basically toilet paper. But okay, let's look at the abstract. Quote, this article discusses the blackface figure. Boom, wrong. Black peat is something else than blackface. So the first sentence of this abstract is already something that in a functioning world of academia would never have been published. Quote, it argues that black peat is an invented tradition that marks a quote white Dutch habitus in which the historical contact of colonialism and the legacy of slavery is repeatedly ignored or denied. Wrong, wrong, wrong. And ideological anti-white people garbage. Here is what to do with this type of pseudo-academic work. So here we have the website of the University of Utrecht. This Yvonne person is a doctor and someone who teaches to students. Complete disaster. Next one. Someone graduated based on this master's thesis. Quote, Facing Black Pete, an analysis of the Dutch controversy surrounding the folklore character of Black Pete. In this thesis I analyzed the phenomenon Black Pete in relation to whiteness. I interviewed white Dutch people about the controversy surrounding this racist character. Boom. Wrong. Should never have been approved. Quote, in this thesis I will show you how liberal white people actually take part in racism. And this is from the Faculty of Humanities of the University of Utrecht. Here's some PowerPoint from some Michael from the University of Utrecht. Page 13 of PowerPoint responses. Denial of racism. It is a tradition slash culture, not racism. Page 14. Prediction. The lobby against Black Pete in its current form will win in the end because it has a moral argument on its side. In the end, morality wins over social convention. So this so-called academic doesn't realize that academia should be about finding the truth and not about left-wing morality. Morality. So another piece of waste from some intellectual fraud who hasn't done proper research. And what does this Michael do? On his website you can see that quote I am professor in interdisciplinary social science at Utrecht University and the academic director of the European Center on Migration and Ethnic Relations. And I have no doubt that this clown is a very strong proponent of a lot of migration and that any student that he teaches to comes out of the university stupider than they were when they started. University of Amsterdam, European Journal of Cultural 
cultural studies. Some research that does not engage in truth seeking regarding the origin of Black Pete, but instead links defending Black Pete to concepts such as populism and nationalism. I mean you can basically find an endless amount of this nonsense just by spending one hour using Google. The Dutch and other Western European nations have a gigantic problem. The so-called soft sciences in Western Europe have become hijacked by a radical leftist and has now gone completely overboard. What's happening in the social sciences in the Netherlands and many other Western European countries is nothing else than a civilizational catastrophe. It has become the new standard to not engage in truth seeking but to instead engage in anti-western activism. The people that are working in these faculties are not engaging in real science. They are ideologues. They are activists who believe that it is their moral responsibility to somehow create a quote better world and that this can then be done by engaging in political activism which they then do from their extreme left-wing ideological worldview. When you read their work they often use terms such as whiteness and blackness these words have nothing to do with engaging in science, but instead originate from critical race theory, which is an ideological narrative that attributes negative characteristics to people that are of European descent. The irony is that this in itself is racist. For decades now, our universities have been training entire generations of students who are incapable of engaging in truth seeking, but instead have been brainwashed with left wing ideology. They view the world through the lens of left-wing ideology while simultaneously thinking of themselves as being very smart and moral and nuanced and ethical etc. In reality they don't realize that they are probably the most ignorant people in Western Europe. INO research in 2018 found that only 31% of the Dutch people who have a higher level of education wanted to maintain Black Pete and that 58% of the people who have a lower level of education wanted to maintain Black Pete. You can already guess what the usual interpretation of this is. Well, it is because smart people know that Black Pete is racist and the less smart people don't understand this. In reality, the problem is this. The people who went to university do not necessarily know anything about Black Pete, but are simply more brainwashed with left-wing ideology than the people with a lower level of education. And honestly, both the higher educated people and the lower educated people in Netherlands do not know know anything about the historic origin of Black Pete. So the ignorance is on both sides. However, the ones to blame are the higher educated people because they are the ones who actually should know the historical origin of Black Pete. And this problem is not only related to Black Pete. If you talk to people who have a master's degree in political science from the University of Amsterdam, they don't even know what is written in the Treaty of Maastricht. They've never read it. The people who studied history at Dutch universities don't even know what the the Moorish slave trade is. No wonder they also know nothing about Black Pete. The disaster of the academic world in Western Europe is much broader than Black Pete. Black Pete is just a canary in the coal mine. Here we basically have a tradition of which the historic origins are known and can actually be seen all over Europe. And we see an entire world of academia spin out of control, attacking this tradition and completely getting it wrong over and over and over again. There is basically a simple question that needs to be answered and the entire academic world has it wrong. Western Europe is supposed to be one of the smartest regions on the planet but our academic world is incapable of answering a simple question correctly. Why do I defend Black Pete? Don't I have something better to do? You might wonder. Well actually no because truth matters. It is not about Black Pete in itself. It is about truth. If the academic world and the rest of the society gets this one wrong and abolishes this tradition based on false allegations, then they are also going to fail if it comes to other things. The concept of truth itself is going to slowly erode and when that happens, nothing will stand in the way of left-wing ideology, breaking down the entire western civilization. That is what is ultimately at stake. Thanks for watching and listening, I wish you a nice day.